I believe that if we are honest with ourselves, that the most fascinating problem in the world, problem in the world, is who am I? Is who am I? Is who am I? Is who am I? What do you mean? What do you feel when you say the word I? I myself. I don't think there can be any more fascinating preoccupation than that. Because it's so mysterious. It's so elusive. Because what you are in your inmost being escapes your examination in rather the same way that you can't look directly into your own eyes without using a mirror. You can't bite your own teeth. You can't taste your own tongue. And you can't touch the tip of this finger with the tip of this finger. And that's why there's always an element of profound mystery in the problem of who we are. 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 This problem has fascinated me for many years and I've made many inquiries. What do you mean by the word I? And there is a certain consensus about this, a certain agreement, especially among people who live in Western civilization. Most of us feel I, ego, myself, my source of consciousness, to be a center of awareness and of a source of action that resides in the middle of a bag of skin. And so we have what I have called the conception of ourselves as a skin encapsulated ego, encapsulated ego, encapsulated ego.